My name is Vahid Chitos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming from. Thank you for having me, Vahid uh, Mastermind. It's an honor to be with you guys today. My name is Brian Banks. I am the CEO of Go Another Level Incorporated. We're a marketing and branding and strategic marketing as well as business development firm. And we specialize in helping businesses, brands, and entrepreneurs go another level. So awesome. we've been around about 18 years and having a great time. <laughs> I got a lot of questions for you. So let's get this some of the basics if individuals just getting into building their business and entrepreneurship. What's the difference between marketing and branding? Well, to be honest with you, marketing is branding when it's done right, right? But for people just getting started, usually they see marketing as just like outreach. How do I reach my consumer? But what they're reaching their consumer with isn't strategically put together to work together for their business to help them develop their business for the long run. So if you start with developing your identity, before you start reaching out, if you develop all of your content, get your identity together, your taglines, your mission statements, your logo, just everything you truly stand for, you get all of that in line, strategically working together, then you put together a strategy of how you're gonna target the consumers that are gonna to respond to that information most, then you have your marketing and your branding working together. That's why I say marketing is branding when it's done right. <laughs> but that's a big if it's done the right way. If, if it's so, done right. Now, most people don't. When you've been doing it a really long time, you know how to make it work together. But first getting started, a lot of people just want to get their name out there. So they're looking for different platforms, different ways to whether it's physical marketing or digital marketing. And they're putting a lot of work into marketing, but it's not really giving them the return they want to see because they haven't done the branding. The branding is the identity. The branding is like laying down the concrete of the house. So it's like you can do a whole bunch of marketing, like you can build a whole bunch of stuff on a house. But if the foundation isn't there, it's not going to last very long. It's going to fall apart and you're going to have to do it all over again. And that's why a lot of people continuously spend so much money on marketing because they haven't really put in the time to develop the brand properly. So if I'm an entrepreneur and I just started, do I need to do more branding or do I need to do more marketing? In the beginning, I say do some simple things to get your brand together. And the simple thing to do for one is just have the basics. For one, who are you? Your identity, so your business name. Business name has to match your logo. If you're a business and you don't have a logo, mm, you're missing the boat, all right? So get a simple logo, get a very direct business name. It's cool to be creative, but the more direct and to the point it is, to where people don't have to figure out who you are or what you do when they hear the name, it makes it so much easier. Get a very, very short tagline that goes in line with who you are and what you do, all right? And if you can afford it, which it's extremely inexpensive nowadays to create a website, you used to have to spend thousands of dollars, but now you can go to GoDaddy. You can go to platforms like GoDaddy, spend 30, 40, 50 bucks. You can even put together a mock website before you spend a dollar. And literally all of this can be done if you invest the time, you can do it in a day. You can I use name.com, but GoDaddy is good. I, I like name.com because they're cheaper and way more efficient looks. Better. But you're absolutely Listen, if they watch three videos just on YouTube, they'll be able to know how to do that. So it, only, it does take time. And that's the key element. You got to spend the time. But exactly. You will be able to so I got my name. I got a simple logo. Cool. I got the mock website. What do I do next? You got to get your, of course, your tagline, like who you are, what you do. How do I, I'm going to take notes. How do I come up with a tagline? Okay. For so you got to think about, for one, it's, you want it to be catchy. All right. Let's just say one of my good friends, he started a landscaping company. Okay. All right. Picture perfect lawn care. All right. That's the business name. When you hear that, you know exactly what he does. All right. Right. And his tagline was making sure your lawn is picture perfect every time. That's a catch one. Who came up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't take credit for it. He's been doing he's in he learned the same way I did and he put his mind to it and he just launched his business. And 
he didn't have a big sales team. It was him going out. He wore his T-shirts, tagline on them, company name, got some magnets, stuck it on the side of the truck, and he literally was renting equipment. And after his first couple jobs, it paid for equipment for him to buy. But what happened is because he did exactly what his business advertised, people like the neighbors. He organically marketed what he stood for. And hey, how much do you charge? And since he didn't have like a big sales team or a, a back office, he would give them the phone number and on the on the card it would say text your address to be added to the list. Hmm. So people would see the information, text the address. He'd call them. Hey, I see you text to get your uh, your home added to the list about how big is your yard. Great. I have somebody that's uh, already service in your area. I'll be less than a mile away. I can come by on Thursday, which is usually like a day away. Or how soon do you need me out? And just those very simple things. He went from zero to over 150 yards in less than 90 days. Nice. Right? So if you're doing seven to $10,000 a week with very little overhead, it's just the results of effective marketing, some hard work, some strategic branding, and, and going about it the right way, doing what you said you're gonna do. So having the tagline, um, what else? And then put together your strategy. He knew he didn't how have time it, to go. How is tagline, how is tagline different than your logo or the name of the business? I the feel like the name of the business is usually one word, it, it can be. It can be if you're like McDonald's or Wendy's or something like that. But then you have restaurants like James Coney Island because their hot dogs were famous from Coney Island. But you still don't know that they sell hot dogs <laughs> unless you, you're familiar with them. But it's okay to have more than one word. I say I wouldn't go past three. Four is long. One to two words is best, though. I one always say that. One to two words is best. Three four no more than four and then yeah, like it is works because it's picture perfect lawn care it should never get longer than that good so so now i got the, the tagline i got the logo i got the i got the name putting a strategy from what do i do next what i would do is go over your budget okay go over your budget and this is going to help so you for example you want to put together a basic strategy but I would put together my budget to let me know what kind of guns I have to go to war with. Because if you have a, a, the bigger your budget is, the bigger your guns can be. Then you can start thinking about big platforms. You might even be able to put a billboard on the busiest highway. You might be able to hire a, a telemarketing team, just depending on what your budget is. But most people starting out, they usually don't even have a budget. <laughs> They're like, I just want to get but started. But it's important to get one. Absolutely. You have to determine how much money you can spend every 30 days on your marketing. And because if you don't have a budget, you'll usually go over budget. Or you'll be one of these entrepreneurs who won't grow and they can't figure out why because they're just too cheap and they won't spend any money on marketing. <laughs> they're like, oh, no, I know somebody who's cheaper. Yeah, and I know somebody who's got way more customers than you every day because they're investing the money. Right. So what I do is it within the strategy. This is very important to me is I determine all the free forms of marketing that a, that a client is not utilizing. So the first thing we do when someone contacts us and they get on contract, we do a brand analysis or we evaluate all of their content within their brand, their website, their menu, every form of marketing material that the customer sees, customers and employees because we want everything within the business, especially if you're a brick and mortar facility, to match with everything that's out there digitally, right? So we do the brand analysis. And then from there, we start working on a strategic marketing plan based on the client's budget. But if you're someone who's just getting started, which that sounds like that's what you're really focused on right now, what I would do is think about, okay, how much money can I truly afford to spend every month on marketing? Now, oh, so when you do the budget, we're talking about monthly. Monthly. Every month you should be spending money on marketing. All right, so that budget is monthly. Okay, I'm, I'm making notes of that. Okay, cool. Monthly. All right. That's and I'm going to put together a list of all my free forms of advertisement. Free forms of advertising. Okay. Some simple things you can do. Let's just say, depending on what your niche is, social media is the freest, most effective form of advertising that you can find. Right. 
And depending on what your work ethic is like, there's a lot of physical forms you can implement as well. But join Facebook groups that are associated with your industry, not just your business, but your industry. So I'm going to give you an example. If you were a landscaping company or you were a beautician, they have tons of groups of homeowners, uh, real estate companies, where, where homes are at that have grass that needs to be cut, right? They have administrators of those groups. Just you associating with those groups, going in, liking some posts, starting to participate in what's going on, and you begin to start putting your content on there as well, or even messaging people, hey, I saw your property on there that you just got a, you got a, new, uh, a new listing for that $2 million home. I'd love to come out and give you a bid on landscaping so you can keep, keep the yard fresh so when you're doing listings. This little effort, all it cost you was 45 seconds in, in the message box. And of course, why you're going to take so many. But well, Brian, why is it so many entrepreneurs so lazy? Because what you just said, listen, I can melt you like that. If I had a landscaping business right there, that tip that you just gave me, that's at least ten thousand dollars right there. I agree. So why are these landscapers are not millionaires? A lot of times, I don't, I don't know why, but usually they don't. Use, they don't. They don't think from this perspective. They're old school, right? They think I got to pass out my cards. I got to, because if you're not a marketer, like I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I've owned a company since I was 19 years old. Uh, I've never had a business loan, except for recently I've, we got approved for the uh, PPP, which was a huge blessing. But when I speak about how to reach people, they're like, oh my God, that's so genius. I'm like, but to me, it's like, it's kind of common sense. You find out where they're at and you go talk to them, right? So it's just putting in the effort. And if they're lazy with the effort, a lot of times they're also lazy with their budget. So when they find someone that's good at it and they tell them how much it's going to cost for me to help you make way more money than you're making now, they don't see the value. They're like, oh, you want $1,000? Yeah, but we're going to bring you in an extra $30,000 a month. Listen, you just push the ignore button. You just send them my way. I tell them you're not, Brian is no longer available to you. That's it, done. Thank you very much. <laughs> that, that's it. That's it. But, so, but to me, I, it's so funny that you just said that. I had one of these, uh, I had an entrepreneur just message me and he's like, listen, I want to make sure that, you know, I do interviews also just like you. My wife said, how do I reach people? I'm like, Brian is on Instagram. His contact information is right there. Just push, send a message, talk to the guy. 90% will say no, 10% will say yes. Yeah. Just coordinate, get it. I mean, to me, it was like, are you seriously asking me this? I thought it was a, I thought it was a trick question. I'm like, everybody has their contact on IG. Like, just go message the guy. Say, listen, I like your content. Let's get together. Let's do a live session. He's like, but what else? I'm all like, that's it. She's like, no, no, I'm pretty sure there's some other tricks. I was like, yeah, you have to pay $1,000 for those tricks. He said, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm like, I was joking with you, man. There's nothing else. <laughs> I was like, this is it. You contacted. So some of them are just, I don't know if it's laziness in the mind or if it's laziness in physical. It's, I say it's both. I definitely say it's both. Um, because you have to be willing, because honestly, you can spend a day creating a list of all the people that you want to contact, contact. And that takes a little bit of effort, but it's not like oh. it's backbreaking work. You just got to put your mind to it, keep looking, keep clicking. And then you take the time to literally format the message. And most people, they're so afraid of like a scam or kind of afraid to put themselves out there. They're, they want to hold on to their money so tight, especially when they're not, they don't feel they're making enough that they're not direct. So if you're reaching out to people, hey, and one thing I love is when someone tells me how their budget up front. That's when I, I'm not only gonna take you serious, but I'm gonna give you way more effort. Hey, I've got $1,500 a month I'm spending on marketing right now. Uh, I'm looking for someone who can increase my sales. I've been working with this company for the last seven months. I'm not satisfied with the results. Those are my favorite customers. And fifteen hundred dollars a month, to be honest with you, is no money for marketing. Very little, depending on the size of your business. So when clients come direct like that, 
or entrepreneurs come specific. Yeah, they know what they want. They know what they want. They're like, this, 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 let's get it going. But I understand also too, Brian, I've been on the other side where a lot of, um, a lot of influencers, coaches, um, they have never been in that space, so they don't know. So there are people that they need to be educated on what does this cost, how does it work. Don't look at a big guru and seeing the guy make a million dollars, well, he's not telling you how much he's spending for advertising. He could be spending $500,000 for advertising, or he could be spending $20,000 for advertising. You just don't know. But if you knew, then your perception of that million dollar income will be different because now you're like, okay. And then I always hate it when people compare the first stage with someone else's 20th stage. Like, you need to build up to that. You know, you, you can't just go, you can't go from basic math to calculus. It doesn't work like that. Absolutely. There's algebra in between. Yes, there's, there's growth. A tree starts as it is a seed. You can't compare the, the big tree with the huge trunk and the larger branches to the little seedling with a couple of leaves on it. And that's your business first starting out. So the more work you put into the free advertising, like genuinely getting out there and meeting your clients face to face and building your brand and your reputation through your interaction and just your work, your number one form of advertisement is how well you do your work. And a lot of people, they don't, they don't, they look at the guru and they want to be big, but instead of mastering their craft, whatever you're doing, become the best at it first. Become really good. Every time you get a chance to do some work, be the best one doing that work. And do it with a great attitude. Take some pictures. Post the pictures. All right? Every time you do work, you now have advertising material. Right? I agree with that 100%. You got to document the process. I mean, Gary Vee talks about the whole thing. You gotta, and, and, and I got to tell you, I'm like one of those people that don't like to take pictures. Like, I can count how many selfies I take of myself throughout the whole year with my fingers. Like, I don't do any of my wife. Oh my God. That iPhone, we have to update it like every single month. She just takes so much videos. So I think she's like the best marketer. Like my baby, my daughter's got pictures every day. Like you could go calculate 16 months, you have like a picture every single day. Like she's consistent with it, right? I'm not like that. But I also know that if I don't do it, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing a service for a lot of people that they need to. Because they always think that oh, everything is happy, yeah, this, this. it doesn't work like that. Like for example, just, just this morning, somebody asked me, like, you know, I do like six or seven live sessions just per day. And I'm booked till like July. Wow. Literally till July. Like I'm booked six, seven. And somebody asked me, well, you know, so do, do they say yes to you all the time? And I'm like, I probably have been rejected more than anybody else on social media. I, I feel like I, I have been rejected like hundreds of thousands of times because for everyone that says yes, there's another 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 that don't even reply to my messages. So I'm all like, I got to put myself out there and be able to do that and document to put it. So sometimes when I don't document, they think everything is easy. So they want to message five gurus and get five, five sessions. I'm like, I wish that was the case. That, you know, Brian was playing hard to get for a month. You guys don't know. He was sitting <laughs> on my email for a month. You don't know how much, Brian. But seriously, how long did you play hard to get? <laughs> uh, maybe a week. Maybe not. I don't even think it was a week. I think it was... But see, that's you sent the message. I responded, yeah. I think, like three hours later or something like that. You're the man. You're the, I like you, Brian. I yeah. like you. I think I got the message while I was in church, and I responded when I got out, and was like, hey, when are we going to schedule this thing? And within a week, you had me all the information, and we were ready to roll. But I can definitely relate to... You have to be willing to take the nose and develop your skill set. Like I learned sales from going business to business in a suit and tie selling toys and pots and pans when I was 19 years old. And it was the same thing. We call it the law of averages. For every nine no's, you're going to get one yes. And you've got to learn from those no's. Like you, like you learn from the, the messages that you send. So your message gets better. Right. Oh, <laughs> but, definitely. So your definitely. pitch gets and, and better. And the funny part is, 
when, when I send the message, I, I, I talked to one of my buddies and I was like, what do you think of this message? I send out. He's like, did you send that out? I was like, yeah. I said, he goes, Rahid, he's got grammatical issues in it. Why did you send it? He said, because I was tired of just sitting around. I just push send, that's it. Whoever's going to respond, he's going to respond. If they're going to not respond because of the grammar error inside, like you're not the guy. You're not thinking of, let's do a live session. You want me to take ESL classes again. Like, do, do you want to do a live session with this or no? Like, I don't need to put a dictionary and check it on grammar and then go put it in there. He's like, I took that attitude. He took action. I was like, just don't worry about it, man. The guy who wants to do it, they're going to do it. And surprisingly, nobody cares. Don't overthink it. A lot of people, they're, they're paralyzed because they sit around and overthink everything. Get your information, package it, determine how, what channels were you going to use to put it out there, push it out there, and just keep pushing. That's it. So listen, Brian, how do the people find you? You can find me through Instagram, uh, at Brian Banks Branding. I'm sure my information is right here at the top of the screen. Um, right. You can go to our website, which is goanotherlevel.com, G-O, anotherlevel.com. And you can also email us. You've got all our business packages and business services, everything from strategic marketing to app development, all on the website. But my email, you can either reach me at info at goanotherlevel.com or brian at anotherlevelinc.com. And if you're really serious, like you're ready to go, like I want to talk to you now, I'm ready to get going. My cell number is 615-617-0571. Again, that's 615-617-0571. Just shoot me a text. Hey, saw you on IG. I'd love to get some branding going for my company. Can you help me go another level? I'll respond, usually pretty quick, and we'll get going. Done deal. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time and being here. Definitely need to do more videos because I think it's a major topic and, and concepts that people need to understand. Because this will make it or break it. You could have the best product, best service, but if you're marketing and branding and working, you're not going that far. So this is a big topic, and you and I are going to be in contact. I appreciate you taking this time and being with us. No worries, man. It was an honor to be on here with you. It was great meeting you virtually, and uh, go another level, brother. Keep rolling. You got it. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. You as well. I look forward to it. Bye-bye.